Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on Google Firebase integration in SAP UI5. We have already created a project in Google Firebase. Then we have also created an application in SAP UI5 and connected Google Firebase with SAP UI5. Now in this particular video, we'll learn how to do email and password based login integration in SAP UI5. So in this video, we'll not be doing sign up. We'll be just integrating the login part. So the very first thing you need to do is like uh, go on Google Firebase and enable the authentication that is email based authentication and then you need to integrate the authentication with the Google Firebase. So SAP UI5 and Google Firebase will be connected here regarding the authentication part and then we need to add credentials over Google Firebase manually to test out the entire flow. So we'll jump to this article first in this article we have mentioned all the steps and the code required for the integration and we have also explained the entire code section so if i jump back to google firebase so we have already enabled email password login right and i can go inside it and add a test login so for that i can go to users add a user call it test at the rate my project ideas.com and password I will call one two three four five six fine I will add the user now and our application is ready so I will just explain the code that we have written so in the previous videos we have already done the integration part in this video what we have done is just added a few line of code in view where we have an input box to take username an input box to take the password and a button to do sign in and a button to do reset so the reset part just uh, you know clears out the fields and actually on email sign in we are doing some operation if you come back to the controller you can see the reset is just clearing the fields but on email signing we are getting the model the model that we have defined for firebase this we have already done in the pre previous videos and then we are getting the fire auth from that model and we don't need firestore but ultimately if you want to perform some other operations like you want to save the email or something else you know in the database or fetch something from the database then we'll need firestore data we can comment as of now and then we have a operation called sign in with email and password where we are passing the email and the password value from the ui and uh, if it is successful so we can get a user signed value the user which has signed and it's a, a you know unique value that uh, is created here this user uid we can fetch it from the firebase and uh, if not otherwise it will give the error so i will just uh, give anything else like test at the rate test.com password one two three four five six this is not uh, something that we have worked okay i will click sign in let's refresh once for the uh you the your application might be open from a long time and the entire thing expires so we'll just try once again test at test.com one two three four five six click sign in we'll go to console Okay, so it says message box is not defined. So we'll just define message box here. SAP slash m slash message box. Refresh once again. Test at test dot com. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sign in. It says there is no record corresponding to the identifier. The user may have been deleted. So, if I go to the error part, the error is something that I am not writing manually. The error is coming from the Firebase, right? So, if I just change this to my project ideas dot com and click sign in. You will see you are logged in is coming 
so i can even fetch more details right so i will just clear it out go to source i will try to catch the success message right now so that i can see what all else is coming so i will just put a debugger here and we'll try to click sign once again after entering the value yeah so user signed in is coming so we'll see in the console what we are getting okay so we have something called user and inside that we have the email id right and we have a lot of uh, guid so let's do cross check the guid is this one right let's copy control f and you see the guid is coming so we were able to successfully log in using google firebase and we have done the integration part also so in this way you can authenticate the user and then proceed with the later operations like you can now use the database you can now use the storage without login you will not be able to do any operations so yeah that's it for today's video in the next video we'll learn how to do otp based login so we have two sign methods that we have enabled phone based login where OTP will be sent to the, the mobile phone and then you have to enter that OTP and then you can log in. So that part we'll discuss in the next video. Thank you.